going on everybody? Loto Jundle here coming at you with another Disney video. As you can tell, as you know it's Friday, which means Zur is here in the tower. Now let's take a look at his merchandise. We have Empyrean Bellicose. This is a Titan helmet that get, has anti-grav thrusters, aiming weapons while you're in the air, hold you in place for a short time, orbs collected will recharge your melee ability. Increase intellect and discipline, inverse shadow, heavy lifting, and then better already. Now better already, shields start recovery immediately after an orb pickup. Now some think this is similar to that of the infusion, which is where you're, you restore health upon orb pickups. I really can't see much of a difference, but you know, I think I'd rather have infusion. I have a couple of helmets with this perk. And they, they seem okay, I've just never really paid attention to when they kick in. Mask of the Third Man. It wasn't me, it was the Third Man. This is originally a year one helmet. Here we are, guys. Here it is. We have the Unstable Current, where Arc Blade attacks use less super. We have Intellect and Strength as our boosts. Inverse, Heavy Lifting, so the same as Empyrean. But it has infusion. Each time you pick up an orb of light, you replenish health. We also have the Skull of Dire Ahamkara. Very nice. It's where you, you take reduced damage while using your Nova Bomb, and your Siphon abilities are improved. You have increased discipline and strength. We also, which, and right now it's, it's a pure strength right now, so you can add some discipline. Hands on. Bonus super energy for melee kills on minions of darkness. Super energy for special weapon kills on minions of darkness. And then invigoration, gaining bonus melee energy on our pickups. For our Engram this week, we have a chest Engram, 19 strange coins. And we have our legacy Engram, don't bother getting this, it's only for year one heavies. For curios, we have Emerald Coil, Void Drive, Heavy Ammo Synth. Three of coins, glass needles. And then we have our material exchange. For every two coins, you get a mote of light, which has kind of become obsolete now. So that wraps up this video, guys. What do I rank his equipment? Well, for those of you who haven't gotten the Empyrean, then I definitely would, I would recommend picking it up. It's a nice, it's a nice helmet to have. Mask of the Third Man is a very good one to have, especially if you're PvP arc blade the arc blade or hell even trying to do the arc ability kill for uh if you're doing it as your hunter then we have the skull very nice decent good and crucible don't really see much use in the pve world so and then you got your chest this hasn't changed which i'll be honest guys starting to kind of annoy me uh so really the only Deep two that I could say are nice would be I already have this, but the these three are definitely welcome, you know, welcome additions. So to get to rate the agent of the nine Zur's equipment, you know, his merchandise this week, I would give him probably a seven out of ten. Just because, you know, I think a lot of people have already gotten a good portion of the chess pieces. Well, I know I have. But, I mean, I give it a, maybe a, like I said, a 7.5 or an 8 out of 10, maybe. Uh, I mean, these are your standard. These don't change. This, some changes. These will always change. Sometimes they'll repeat. So, yeah. I'll, you know, just in the interest of fairness, as a new player, I'd probably give it an 8.5 out of 10, maybe. As a veteran, a 7.5 or a 7. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That wraps up, it up with my, my, vi my little visit video to Zur. And just so you know his location, he is in the tower underneath in the basement near where you access the emotes. So that does it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Feel free to hit the like button and subscribe for more. And I will catch you in my next video. Peace out.